Okay, we're going to look at creating an animation of our alien chap here in front of a virtual or an imported background because we're filming in front of the green screen, we can take that background away. Okay, so to get started, we expand out this tab and go on to the blue screening tab here. Uh, at the moment, we're not going to worry about these controls up here, we're just going to worry, look at these controls down here. And the first button to be aware of is this one. If you press this button, Zoo3D analyzes the image, takes a guess at what the background color is, and takes that background away. So now we've got our picture as before, but without any background. We haven't actually taken a frame yet, this is all just working off the live image from our webcam. So I'm going to import a background that we're going to use to create our animation. So to do that, I'll click on this Insert Background button here. Uh, and then I can insert either uh, some still images, a video file, or you can even record live video straight into Zoo3D to use as a background. To keep things simple at the moment, I'm going to import a still image. So I'll click on this. Now, you can import uh, any type of image, so a bitmap, a JPEG, a GIF, or anything like that. And if you import a GIF file, you can import animated GIFs. So these are some sample backgrounds that come with Zoo3D, which are just very simple backgrounds with some simple animation. So if we choose this one, and we'll import it in. Zoo3D has added another video track down here. If we zoom out a little bit, so we've got this video track as a background. And we can see our man, still it's just the live, the live video overlaid upon the background. So now we can go back to the normal frame capture tab in Zoo3D and press the red button to take a frame. And that frame has appeared down on the timeline down here. So now we move our man a bit as per normal. And then we press number one on the keyboard or we can press the red button to take another picture. So I'll just keep moving him a little bit. Because this is an animated background, you can see up here we've got a little alien appearing in the background, but we'll just keep taking a few more frames to build up a nice animation. Okay, so now we can just jump back to the beginning and watch our film like that. If we zoom out a bit, we can copy and paste that clip like normal and select that clip and hit reverse. So now when we watch our film, we've got our man, our alien man on the planet.